Oh, Grady, I can... Let's go! 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 Let's go!
big fighter. If he could punch, I think he'd have Matthew out of there now. He just isn't a big puncher, but he's a very, very busy guy and he has accurate hands. Another one that Frank Lucas, trainer, claims he is a better puncher than he was a year ago. Whether that's true or not, may determine itself early in this fight, as he has got Muhammad where he could hurt him if he has the power. Tim, one thing you can't do, you can't teach anybody to punch. You can teach him to punch correctly, but not hard. You're born with that. Under 30 seconds to go, the second round. It's been all Sutherland so far. I didn't like the way Saad reacted. He didn't bounce off the ropes. But Sutherland shouldn't gamble in there. Spread eagle like that, he can get nailed himself. Coming to the end of round number two. Now some good counter-punching by the champion. Round number three from Atlantic City, New Jersey. We are live with coverage of the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship. The challenger on the right of your screen, Murray Sutherland from Edinburgh, Scotland, now living in Bay City, Michigan. And he won the first two rounds rather handily. Indeed, the champion's best shots came in the final seconds of the second round. Uh, Saad Bahama's not moving in there the way he should. He's spread eagle. He's looking for one shot. Now, that's going to be wrong because he's not going to find it just waiting on the guy. Well, Gil, that's similar to the way he started out against Vonzel Johnson, and Johnson did well early against him. Yes, but against Vonzel Johnson, he wasn't cut the way he's cut now. That, that, that is a serious whip. And it, um, any minute, it could, you get one good shot, and it could open wide up. Then I didn't have to stop the fight. I'd be a little nervous if I was in this corner. What about you, Ange? Yes, I would. I'd be sweating that out because the only way you can do is contain that cut, but it can go straight down. Murray Sutherland, his only other national television appearance in the losing cause against Spence a year ago. Those kind of cuts, what I worry about them, Gil, is they could cause arterial bleeding. Then you can't contain the bleeding. Short chopping left landed from Sutherland. Good left hook. Good short left hook. Southern, Sutherland's losses have been to uh, distinguished people. Dwight Davidson as a middleweight. Richie Cates, a pretty good light heavyweight in his own right. And Michael Spinks. Tim, do you notice how close his right foot, Saad's right foot was on the outside of the ring, almost to the edge of the ring. We are in the Superstar Theater of Resorts International in Atlantic City, a very live and interested crowd here, perhaps sensing some of the early danger the champion Muhammad is in. Luck from that left, gushing. I'm just pulling back from that long right hand at Sutherland. Under a minute to go round three. Sutherland does very well when he's boxing and stays, staying outside. At the end of the last round, he, he made a mistake and put the Matthew Saad on the ropes and punch, they punch with each other. That's what he should do. What he's doing now is a Sutherland fight, staying outside and picking him apart. I have to agree with you, Gil. They trade right hands. Saad has the best right hand in there. So it should move away and box. 26-year-old champion Matthew Saad Muhammad born in August of 1954, and he just had that birthday, August 5th, confirmed this past week. He believes he is Maxwell Loach, and hopes in the next week or two to officially and conclusively confirm that. The Sutherland's comments before the fight was that he was going to go to the body. He hasn't done that as yet. Final seconds of this third round. Waiting too long, man. A look at that split lip. Just seconds ago, Adolf Ritako working feverishly on it. It is a bad cut. We're in round number four, scheduled for 15. The challenger in the Tartan Trunks, Murray Sutherland. The champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad, making his seventh WBC defense. So, uh, Saad says something about go out and get him because they're really jumping all over him. Uh, I think Adolf was used a little bit of tincture murder there uh, in the cut because that's good for inside cut mouths. But it's the out exterior part of the mouth is the danger. That snappy left jab of Sutherland's has now started to get, has a bruise underneath Matthew Saad's left eye. He's starting to get marked up pretty good. Matthew Saad Muhammad, as Angelo said, told his corner, don't worry, I'll get him. I'm going to go get him. But he's trying to cut off the ring here in this fourth round, but Sutherland moving well. I worry when that Sutherland trades right hands, Bill, because the better puncher is Saad Muhammad. Just keep boxing, keep doing what he's doing. 
They have a problem with the right glove of Murray Sutherland, which looks like it might be breaking up right on the knuckle area. The timekeeper, Percy Richardson, has already remarked on that, and they may take a look at it at the end of this round. Well, we, we may have another Henry Cooper Muhammad Ali situation where the other fighter is going to get a rest, a big rest, while they change gloves. Let's see what happens. You hey. remember that, don't you, Angelo? I don't remember that. <laughs> Angelo Dundee, of course, was handling Muhammad Ali in that now famous fight against Henry Cooper in London. He had to replace the glove. That's amazing how that glove split all by itself, Angelo. <laughs> well, in this case, my speculation would be that it on, was on the... Uh, the uh, mouth protector of uh, Muhammad, perhaps when he split his lip. That may have been when the glove was damaged. Well, you know, that, that split glove may have been caused by a right uppercut to Saad Muhammad's teeth. Under a minute to go here in the fourth round, a good combination from Muhammad finally backed Sutherland up. First time in the fight. Yeah, but Tim, he indicated that he wasn't hurt. It was one of Muhammad's best punches. Well, he showed against Michael Spinks that he can take a punch. He's only been stopped once, and that was by Dwight Davidson back in 78 when he was still a middleweight. Saab Sa Muhammad just used the old trick of stepping on his foot with his right foot and almost was successful with it. Under 30 seconds to go. In round number four. at that uh, little hole there in the right glove of Murray Sutherland. We'll see whether that becomes a factor, whether they will have to stop the fight. They, of course, have a backup set of gloves, identical to the Everlast eight ounces the fighters are wearing. This is round number four, uh, number five, pardon me. The referee went and investigated the, the split glove during a uh, timeout. And the split glove is not in the fist area, so that's why he let it continue on. Good judgment, I think, Andy. Yeah, I think so. All right, Angelo, Gil, we'd like to alert our local stations along the line. We'll be going to a 30-second station break at the end of this round. You know, Tim, I see this happen to a lot of fighters come out of Philadelphia, I'm sorry to say. All those tough fights that catch up to you. And that's what's happened to this good champion who makes great fights, but meanwhile takes a look at him in the process. Well, this has been Murray Sutherland's theory coming into this fight. It's what he told us in his pre-fight comments. He felt that the Johnson and Yaki Lopez fights, John Conte 15 rounds, all had taken their toll. And that somebody, and he thought would be him today, was ready to lift the crown. So far, Sutherland looks like a million bucks, but don't count Matthew Saad out. He's starting to get the distance a little bit better now, and it doesn't figure that Sutherland can keep this pace up. He has to slow up a little bit, then we'll see if he can take those big punches of Matthew Saad. Gilbert, I don't think anybody's counting Matthew Saad Muhammad out. We've seen him come back too often in the past, but the trend is being set here early, and it certainly adds an element of tension and suspense to the rest of this fight. We're in round number five. But right now, Sutherland's pitching a shutout. Under a minute to go. I see it. That's the way we have it on our cards. Right hand landed over the left hand of Muhammad. Round. Remember, he had predicted an early knockout. He said no longer than seven, and he thought somewhere between one and five. We're in the final seconds of the fifth round. We'll be back with more of the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship after this word from your local stations. Well, we talked to Murray Sutherland about 
how he'd feel about the fight at this stage. Well, I'm putting a lot of pressure on him now, Tim. I'm going to apply a lot of good right hands to him. I'm going to hit him to the body. I'm going to come up. Most of the people that have fought him in the past haven't went to the body because he's so easy to hit in the head. But now I'm going to start hurting him to the body and then hopefully take him out later on. So Murray Sutherland so far is right on his plan. He thought that the fight would go in the early rounds the way it has so far in our view. And now let's see if he follows through with what he had planned to do at this stage. We're in round number six. Tim Ryan, Angelo Dundee, and Joe Clancy. And this very narrow apron outside the ropes has become a problem. One of the fighters just stepped on the television monitor here. With our position. Now the champion, Muhammad, on the attack. Good left hand to Muhammad. First one that is rock Sutherland. has not been a factor. Adolf Ritaka doing a good job in the Muhammad corner. I'd say he's done a great job. That was a tough cut to control, and he's controlled it. Again, we'd like to alert our local stations along the line. We'll be taking a 30-second station break at the end of this round. Suddenly starting to show his skin tired right now, and what's, what's stopping him his tracks has been the jack. Tremendous right hand by Muhammad. Rock Sutherland. Find out if he's a champ. He's going to have to grit his teeth and come back a little bit. Matthew's running right through him now. Sutherland, who had had his way through four rounds. Finally, in the fifth, Muhammad starting to take over some. And here in the sixth, he has rocked Sutherland. He got hurt with that left hook underneath. He's getting hurt now. Good combination from Muhammad scoring again. Sutherland backing up. That's all he's been able to do here in the sixth round. Big hand lead landed from Sutherland. Under a minute to go, round six. I don't think Side will throw any more right uppercuts, Gil. He got nailed with a right hand counter. Most dangerous punch in boxing, trying to throw a, a right hand uppercut from outside. Sutherland uh, appears to be just trying to survive this round, get himself back together again. He was hurt in the early part of the round. Under 30 seconds to go, round six. Muhammad on the mark, banging to the body. After this word from your local station. In Matthew Saad Mohammed's corner, again, they're working on the cuts, and he has got a he has a, a cut over his right eye. We're going to go back and show you some of that action from the sixth round. Meanwhile, they are cutting the glove off the hand of Murray Sutherland. The commission has ruled that they must replace the glove. So there is a look at Matthew Saad Mohammed coming back in round number six and really battering Sutherland about. Now, gentlemen, does this delay help Murray Sutherland? I think it helps him a great deal. Matthew Saad was getting to him. He had him tied. was banging him around pretty good. This is going to give this guy a chance to start all over. I definitely feel it will help Sutherland, but he was definitely hurt with those body shots. Referee warned him about a low blow near the end of the round. Definitely going to help Murray Sutherland. If I, if I, if Muhammad standing in a neutral corner, but trainer Sam Solomon down there pepping him up. If I was in Murray Sutherland's corner, I'd really take my time putting that glove on. There's no time limit on it. It's giving him a chance to really get a rest. In the meanwhile, Matthew has to stand in the other corner. Frank Lucas, trainer, putting the glove on. Now his manager, Art Dorr, in the tartan jacket has come in to help out. And now, here's, this is interesting, in the neutral corner, Sam Solomon put a stool down. And uh, referee Paul Vendy is saying to Solomon, you can't put that stool in here. The fighter has to wait in the neutral corner. Solomon is chased back to the Matthew Saad Muhammad corner. So meanwhile, his fighter's got to stand up while this is going on. Well, originally, Sutherland was sitting down, so Sam Solomon was right, but now he's standing there, both standing. In the beginning, it was a big advantage. They had Matthew standing over there, and Murray Sutherland was sitting down. 
what's happening now, the cut on the right eye is bleeding again, which is going to hinder the kid because the blood from the eye can give him more hindrance by going into his eye. The cut was uh, right at the right corner of the right eye of the champion Muhammad, and of course he still has the split lip. We are live awaiting the start of the seventh round at Resorts International in Atlantic City. Frank Luca must have heard me, Tim, because he's really taking his time putting that glove on. It's becoming a real project. Look at this. They're all standing here so nice and calm. Nobody's hurrying. Just to recap what's happened in this fight, the challenger, Murray Sutherland, came out extremely well. We gave him the first four rounds on our obviously unofficial card, but uh, he was very much in command early. Then in the fifth round, Matthew Saad Muhammad went after him, started to take some control. The champion had a good sixth round, and now we're ready to go. Round number seven. If Murray Sutherland lands some good right hands, you're going to see that it's going to create more damage. Well, it's a new glove. It's a dry glove. It's not full of water and full of grease. Very good point, Angelo. Matthew Saad is now cut over the right eye. Besides on the lip, he's starting to get all busted up. The right hand landed from the challenger, and then body shot back from the champion. But Matthew Sutherland has that great strength, great strength, and Murray Sutherland just doesn't punch hard enough to keep him off him. He's starting to run through him now. Muhammad. There he goes again. And overhand right, and he's been setting it up with a left hook to the body. That's it, trading right hands. That's what I was afraid of, because Murray don't have the effect. He doesn't have the artillery to bother Matthew Sutherland. Enough. He can cut him, but so far he hasn't been able to stand him or hurt him. Sutherland here to try and spit something out of his mouth. He still has his mouthpiece in. Tim, I think Sutherland may have a couple of loose teeth, but he got hit with a good right uppercut, and he's wondering what's happening. Mohammed landing heavy blows here in the seventh as he did in round six. Boy, he makes every fight an adventure. I'll tell you, Sutherland right now is sleepwalking. He just gone through the motions. He better pick up some pep. Well, he got the break when they changed his glove, and he's rocked by Muhammad, and down he goes. A short left hook, but the combination really set him up. Sutherland's got a bad cut over his left thigh. Sutherland made the count, but he's in big trouble. A cut over the left eye. The champion, Muhammad, with the audience on its feet here now, and a left uppercut from the champion, Matthew Saad Muhammad. What a finish here is challenger, Murray Sutherland. Sutherland takes a left and ducks away. Under a minute to go, round seven. Low again, another low blow. No warning from the referee, but Muhammad looking confident, stalking his game. So often he's able to come back after early problems, and he had him again today. He's got the challenger in trouble. Sutherland just trying to get through this round now. seconds to go. Round seven and Sutherland knocked across the ring with a left hand from the champion. Short right from Sutherland lands. I think we gotta call Matthew Saad Mr. Excitement because it's really a sensational man on the Left hand of the year but a straight right wobbled Sutherland again from the champion Muhammad. An uppercut landed. That's number seven. The crowd is really going wild here at Resorts. Sutherland had taken the early lead in our view. Let's see some of that action from round seven. Good combination from the champion. Backed up the challenger, Sutherland. When and he goes great right hand landed, Gil. When he goes into high gear, he's awesome. He just bangs you out, just makes up his mind he's going to get you out of there, and he gets you out of there. Well, he set it in his corner at the end of the fourth round. There's another staggering right from Muhammad. As his corner was concerned about the way the fight started, Muhammad said, I'll get him. I'm going out to get him. And he commenced to do so. It's been his fight for the last three rounds. Tim, you know what it is? He's a champion. He doesn't want to lose that championship. I think they're going to have to practically kill him then and take this title away from him. Round number eight. What do you think about that, Ange? I have to agree with you. He's got a second sense, and he wants to retain what he has. And he knows he's a champion, he's a believer. 
you pointed out that Sutherland was just going through the motions. Matthew Saad just, he knows when he has to win a fight and he goes out to win it. These guys, they give up on themselves. That's what happens. He is certainly an intimidating force. You get him hurt, you seem to be winning the fight, but it's just kind of a, an inevitable thing that he's going to work his way back in. And he has done it in this fight, round number eight. The challenger, Sutherland, still bright-eyed and trying to hang in there and make the fight turn around again. But it is Mohammed doing the stocking, Sutherland doing the backing up. Sutherland recuperated a lot better than I thought he would, Angelo. Yes, he did. Showing great recuperative powers, and he's, and he's contesting them right now. He just doesn't carry the big guns, though, Angie. Even when he hits you with a clean shot, you know, not, not so much effect. You're right, but him being a mature man, Gil, is what's holding him in there. He's a 27-year-old kid, and he's very strong. See, those punches are strictly off punches. They're accurate, but they're off punches. There's a big punch compared to an off punch. Left hook for Muhammad. We are live at this WBC Light Heavyweight Championship defense at Resort International in Atlantic City, New Jersey. That sudden is showing an awful lot of game. This, uh, believe me, those shots should get everybody out of there, but Sutherland's still in there trying. Has only been stopped once, as we said, back in 1978. Not quite the caliber of fighters over his career that the champion has. champion who has KO'd his last five opponents. Sure hasn't taken any easy ones lately. Yaki Lopez, Von Zell Johnson, Murray Sutherland. These guys have been well prepared and very competent challengers. Looks like Adel got into a triple job now because he's cut over the other eye. So he's working on two cut eyes and a cut lip. And the left eye just getting worse right now. Cut on the corner of the left eye. Sutherland just landed a jab right there. Sutherland seems to have gotten the second win. We said he, he recuperated very well. He came back a lot better than we thought, but now he's snapping his punches a little bit, too. Round number nine. He had a good stiff jab there. Still, if I was Sutherland, I would look to hide and play pussyfoot because he's got to outsmart this guy. He's not going to outpunch this fella. That's right, Andrew. All the way. He can't stand in front of Matthew for one second. There he goes. That's right. That's it. That's it. Now, right behind was a knockout blow. again it was a tremendous right hand a straight right hand that'll be the damaging blow followed by a straight left that sends him down but the Sutherland people including Maurice there's the right hand you can see his eyes close on it and that follow-up left was just icing on the cake now Sutherland got up and he says that he was up by the count of ten and they are protesting here they went right to the commissioner Jersey Joe Walcott as we 
see another look at that tremendous knockdown punch. Well, gentlemen, it, it appeared to me that he made it up by 10. Was the referee simply saying he had had enough, or was he saying that the count had been completed? No, I think that the referee counted him out, but I'm like you, Tim. I think he got up before 10, but it was all academic. Two more punches, he was going to be out of there anyhow. Made no difference. Well, uh, I said that he beat the count. I thought I, he was I feel, up by I 10. Feel he, he definitely beat the he count. He beat the count, but Tim, it's, it's a good thing the referee stopped the fight or counted him out. Because